you, Mr. Sessions from Texas. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much, and my thanks to both of you for your service, not only to the country, but your continued diligence to making sure that the American people uh, have soundness uh, in those that represent us in key decision-making roles. I um, think you knew before you came up here that we have two sides of the story that will be told up here. And there's uh, certainly uh, a feeling that Republicans uh, accuse Democrats of being soft on immigration and soft on criminals. I'm one of those that makes that conversation. Because I believe that what is happening at our border, what is happening in our cities, what is happening across this country supports that viewpoint. We have people arrested all over the country, thousands of of uh, pieces of uh, fentanyl and other uh, lethal items, and the, the, the person, when arrested, gets out without bail. They just release them. We are concerned about this. I'd like for you to be able to leave here today knowing that there are people who expect, want, and expect you to do your job, to capture these people, to keep them away from America, to send them back, to use the necessary resources that would include bio, bio uh, identifications and other markers, uh, pictures uh, that would be necessary to protecting us. We need this. And I recognize the Democratic Party, including our president, are complete, completely against the tools that are necessary to protecting our children. I'm getting ready to be a grandfather within the year. I'm worried about our children. I'm worried about our schools. I'm worried about the places uh, of influence and these drug cartels that have a marketing force all across this country now. There are people that don't understand that there are people who get away, those that got away, many times have huge backpacks on them. I've been to Fort Huachuca. I've watched just east of there packs of people coming by. And it's a couple hours from real live people who are with the Border Patrol who would interdict those people, but they sooner or later caught them as they got closer to the highway. They found backpacks full of drugs. There's a reason why they didn't want to be caught. So I'd like for you, as you leave today, to recognize that we up on the hill have two sides of the story. And yet we can't get away from the narrative that millions of people are impacted by drug cartels. Their long reach into communities is no longer just the largest cities in this country. They're rural, and they are across many, many, many states. This is a huge problem, and it won't get better because we're allowing not just tens of thousands, but millions of people to come here, and we're inviting them by the President of the United States, by the Secretary of Homeland Security, who refuses to even acknowledge the issue and the problem that we have. Being from Waco, Texas, it's easy for me to look up and to see law enforcement that is diligent about catching people, holding them accountable, judges, who will put them in their proper place. I'd like for you to take in the some minute I've got left and talk to me about U.S. attorneys across the border and about your relationship to have put these criminals in jail and to, to detain them, either one of you. So the U.S. Attorney's Office relationship with HSI is critical. Otherwise, we're investigating uh, wasting a lot of taxpayer money and energies without getting prosecutions. So our relationships and our priorities seem strong across the board. Um, all our criminal matters that HSI pursues, we have great relationships with DOJ, high-level relationships. Um, certainly, we have... The and the effectiveness of these U.S. attorneys? So the effectiveness of the U.S. US attorneys pushing the HSI priorities and the criminal investigations, we... we we have a great relationship, and those investigations are moving forward at so, over 20,000. So 20, you, feel, you feel it's successful? 
I feel we need to do more given what we're doing. We always strive to do more. Um, I think the men and women of sure. HSI would recognize that we're doing everything we can and we want to do more. So, sure. so yes, sir. I've, we, I've seen throughout my career, my father was unit U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Texas, Chief Judge for the Western District of Texas, and FBI Director for the United States of America. And during that period of time, he, like you, devoted themselves to trying to keep this country safe. I hope you will leave today, dust each other off, and thank each other with a pat on the back for your service to a great nation. Mr. Chairman, I yield back my time. Thank you very much.